Hey y'all, Phyllis here, and my website is southernfrugal.com. I wanted to uh, come back and share with y'all this morning. We've been off for two weeks working in the yard. We've been working a lot and we still aren't finished. Mr. Bucky's outside this morning cleaning out the garage. And uh, he will be making multiple trips to the uh, recycle station. We've got an old lawnmower all kinds of used lumber or pieces of lumber where what we worked on when we were renovating this home and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, the first thing I wanted to share with you is this. Uh, our little Sonny got sprayed with pepper spray by the garbage man two weeks ago. And uh, we, of course, he does a lot of barking at the fence when the garbage men come. And uh, this particular, this happened two weeks ago. So uh, it was Monday two weeks ago. And so uh, a different uh, garbage man came to do the pickup, they call it, where they go to maybe about five or six houses ahead of the big truck and put the stuff all in a big pile. And our garbage cans are right by the, in fact, they're connected to the fence, only outside the fence and he was there barking and uh, Steely was inside and so I didn't really think anything of it because he barks at anybody that walks down our sidewalk really so uh, anyway he came inside and he had his eyes closed and I thought well isn't that odd and uh, he actually got in his bed and was still had his eyes closed just sitting there and I kept calling, come here, Sonny, and that kind of thing. And he just kept sitting there. And finally, Mr. Buck and I both realized something was wrong. And sure enough, uh, he had been sprayed with the pepper spray right in his eyes and his nose. So his nose was running, his eyes were running, but he couldn't open them. And you could tell he was just in agony. So um, I, I didn't, we did not know at the time that he had been pepper sprayed. We really didn't find that out until we went, took him to the vet right away. And uh, the vet uh, was trying to figure out what was wrong too. And he said, wait a minute, uh, he's been sprayed with pepper spray. And so he immediately did all the flushing of the eyes and everything. Now, when animals like that get sprayed with pepper spray, um, like dogs, I guess, uh, anyway, the vet said, you know, we have to use an antibiotic in the eyes because they will get a, an eye infection because it causes so much irritation. So anyway, we had to uh, get a little eye salve stuff and he was, by the way, when they, and I tried to wash his eyes out a little bit before we took him. I didn't know it was pepper spray though. And uh, he was momentarily better, but then he was right back again in terrible shape. So anyway, once the vet flushed his eyes out and, and put the cream in his eyes, he definitely got better. He was still doing like this, but he didn't have them completely closed. So it took until, I guess, a day and a half later for him to really get over that. But I had to continue using the um, antibiotic and, uh, and hydrocortisone cream to help with the inflammation. So anyway, $70 later, we knew that he had been sprayed with pepper spray. And the uh, veterinarian said uh, we had to take him not to our regular vet because she was in surgery. So we had to take him up to West Columbia to a vet we used years ago. And he said that he sees that sometimes almost daily. People bring in their dogs in and they don't know what's wrong with their eyes and they've been sprayed with pepper spray. So we found out uh, later when uh, the garbage man came the following week, I saw him coming, so I went out there to talk with the guy, and he said, no, he was not the one that sprayed Sonny because he was on vacation last week, but he said, I can tell you who did. And it seems that the guy that sprayed Sonny had been bit twice by dogs, and one of the times he was bit because the dog put his, his uh, muzzle through a picket fence. So I can understand how he was afraid because you really don't want to get bit by a dog. I mean, it can be an infection and most likely not anything like rabies or anything nowadays, but uh, you can definitely get an infection. So uh, he was 
uh, I guess, a little bit over anxious. But anyway, everything's fine now, and, and Sonny's eyes are fine, no problem. I'm just really glad that that uh, Steely was inside, or because he would always be out there barking too at the garbage men, and I'm sure he would have gotten sprayed too. But anyway, we got that all straight, and um, we also uh, fixed the uh, fence gate out on this side because. Uh, Mr. Bucky made that gate some years ago and it always drug the grass and it was such an effort to go out I always hated it so we redid that uh, gate and Mr. Bucky said this time you do it so of course he supervised but I did it and it it does not the bottom is up a little higher so and we also put new braces or I did on the back side of it so so the, the gate works fine, and we replaced the deck, and I put a deck stain and a sealer on the deck, but we replaced three boards on the deck. So that's that. Now, here's the great thing. Okay, the dogs are going to bark now. Hey, hey, I'm recording. Shh, go get in your bed. Go get in your bed. All right, thank you. I'll, you'll see them in a minute when I start doing this floor. Anyway, one of the things I wanted to share, hold on. This is what I purchased, and I believe it was $18.97 online. And I'm going to tell you why I purchased it. It's a sweeper, and it says on here, and this is a little misleading, I think, or it's not what you would think. Um, it says multifunctional with no cord to plug in or, or dustpan to deal with. Uh, the sweep up, sweep up is always convenient to use, so you would think this is battery operated since it says it's cordless, but it's not. It's just an old-fashioned sweeper. Now, what I went through with that is I bought two different ones from two different stores and brought them home, and I just did not think they work like the ones used to work years ago. So I thought, okay, I, you know, I'm just going to look online, and I found the Bissell, and I'm going to show you why it works so well. This is the back side of it. Now, there's hair in here, my hair and Mr. Bucky's hair. The poodles don't shed, so we know it's not their hair. This brush is like the brush uh, that you used to see uh, that were bottle washer brushes. It's easy. In other words, it's not real stiff bristles. It's got these on the end here and here, and on each corner it's got a little brush right there and there. Now what turns the main thing is it's attached to the wheels. I don't know if y'all can see that. And so it, it sweeps going forward and backwards. And these little things right here are what catch it, and I'll show you. Now I've used it a lot. So you just push down on that. And that opens up, and this is where all the dirt will be, and hair, and whatever you've got on your floor. Now, I, it's got one on each end. So, the sweeper works pushing it forward and backwards, and it's actually got seven brushes. These on the corner are real little, but this one is the main one, and then this gets whatever the other didn't get. Now, to clean the hair out of it, I have to use a comb to comb it out. It's pretty hard to get all the hair out. But uh, you'd be surprised how much hair you find on your floor. And ours doesn't come from the dogs. And, and uh, I can always tell Mr. Bucky's hair because his is short and stiff. Mine is long and it gets all tangled around even though I wear my hair in a ponytail most of the time or put up. But anyway, here it is and it just works fantastic. Now why did I get this? I just just got a new vacuum cleaner, what, a month, six weeks ago. It won't go under the beds. How do you clean under the beds? So what I had to do to vacuum under the beds, the sun just went in, y'all. Uh, what I had to do was get down on my knees and use the attachment and just keep going back and forth because the whole thing with the brush on it won't go under the bed. But guess what? This goes under the bed, and it uh, under the beds you don't really get sand and all that kind of stuff. It's just dust mostly. So this super super works. Here's the front of it. 
Now it's small, but it really does the job. Now, and I'm not an affiliate of Vissel, y'all. I just super like their products. I have the vacuum cleaners and the uh, carpet cleaner and all of that. And I don't know why I didn't think to look for one of these online with Bissell before I rode all over town trying to find a sweeper. I don't know why I did that, but two days later, one night I was sitting here and I thought, somebody has got to make a sweeper like the kind you used to get years ago. And sure enough, Bissell makes one. So what it does is it, you know, it's not going to suck up dirt. But what it's going to do is clean the top part of the carpet or rugs. It will also, I use it in my kitchen even, it will uh, also work on hardwood floors pretty good. It also will go under furniture, under chairs, and uh, so I can, uh, underneath the table in the kitchen, I get uh, dust because, of course, nobody walks there, but we're always walking around that table and walking in the kitchen, especially me. So I can just zip it right under the table. It picks up everything. So um, anyway, and it does pick up sand, which surprised me that it would pick up sand. So we're going to do a little demonstration for you. It's, the sun's gone in. So hold on, and let me see if I can get some light in here. Hold on. All right, we've got some light in here now. And I wanted to show you this rug. Now, I cleaned this rug, I'm going to say maybe a month ago, because uh, in this room, we're in the den now. They're steely looking out the window. And uh, the, where the dogs come in and out. Now we've got this rug in front of the door and outside on the step, I've actually got a little white towel and it shows me if the dogs got mud on their feet in the morning. So anyway, here's the rug. See some little bits of paper there. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, it doesn't look that dirty, right? really doesn't but I'm going to show you what this little Bissell sweeper is going to pick up so what you want to do with hold on let me get this straight what you want to do oh I dropped it is make long strokes and by the way it folds up really nice and you see the small box it comes in all right here's what you want to do long strokes There's some grass on the floor, or grass that Mr. Bucky brought in on his shoes, probably. All right, so you want to do really long strokes. All right, there's a little piece of paper. I see some hair there and some uh, uh, little grass clippings. Look at that first swipe that picked it up. There's something else. I don't know what that little thing is. All right, there's... I don't know if y'all can see that. There's a little bit of paper. Looks like dog biscuit residue to me over there. By the way, this is really light. It's very easy to just come in here and do the floor maybe every other day. In fact, I haven't back in this rug since I got this, I don't think. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this floor. Yeah, every little bit it picks up. And it doesn't suck anything up, but it really picks up whatever's on the surface. You just want to do long strokes. All right, I'm going to do the rest of this rug, and then we'll show you what I picked up. Hold on. All right, here's my little helper. This is little Sonny. He really needs a bath, and Steely's in his place up in the chair. All right, we're going to dump this out. I went ahead and got a grocery bag because obviously I don't want to dump it on the floor so let's see what we picked up got a lot more hair and it looks like pieces of leaves and that kind of thing Sonny get back get back so what you do is just press these and this is going to shock you I know let me 
press set. Look at this. Can you believe that? Let's look at this side. Okay, this side hadn't got quite as much in it, but look at that side. Oh my goodness. All right, remember I told y'all we've been working in the yard now for two weeks, so Mr. Bucky coming in with stuff on his shoes and the dogs, and plus it, we had a lot of rain. I'm gonna dump it out now. Well, it didn't all come out. Let me see. I didn't get that. Yeah, that got most of it. All right, so now. What is this? Now this does not come off the carpet because this carpet is nylon and it doesn't really shed. So what you see in here is dust and hair, sand, pieces of leaves and pieces of carpet. Look at that. Yeah, this is drug in by uh, both dogs and because they go out, what, five times a day? And um, also, it's uh, stuff that me and Mr. Bucky drug in on our feet. See the grass clippings in there, little sticks, all kinds of stuff. Now, the hair is all on it there. Let me give you a close-up so you can see. I have to take a comb and get that out. There's hair that's all, see? Now that's my hair, okay? I mean, if it's a long gray hair, chances are pretty good it belongs to Miss Phyllis, yeah. And any short hair belongs to Mr. Bucky. So there it is. Now, yeah, I mean, your hair just comes out regardless, because I mostly have my hair up or in a ponytail, especially in the wintertime. I mean, excuse me, in the summertime. Get that off the cone there. Try to do this with one hand. Yeah. It, it, see, it definitely picks it up. And there you have it. And these are much harder to get out right here because it's got a smaller nap. And that looks like, I don't know what that is, a little piece of the uh, stuffing that's under the rug or carpet uh, padding that Steely has uh, actually gone under. Not Steely, excuse me. I'm accusing Steely falsely. It was sunny was pulling up the edge of that carpet and getting out little pieces of the uh, padding under there. And also he did the same thing on this end. So what did we do? We stapled it to the floor. And so that broke that habit right away. All right, so there you have it, the Bissell Sweeper. And I'll have to tell you, I couldn't find another one that worked anywhere close uh, to as good as this one works. And I did order it from Amazon online, and I'll leave a link down below. I think it was $18.97, as I recall. And it comes in this little box. And, uh, of course, it's not battery-operated. You just push it back and forth. And you have to attach the uh, arm, I mean, the, uh, yeah, the arm of it. It's in three sections, but it all comes in this little box. And the only thing you have to do is attached so you just screw the arms together and it works fantastic and there you have it it's called a Bissell sweep up and by the way they did not carry this uh, particular model in the Walmart or the other I went in actually two other stores and um, one of them was Ace Hardware and they had something similar to this and it was actually a Bissell but it cost a whole bunch more and I couldn't figure out why so I started to get it, and then I thought, no way. There's no way I'm paying that much for something that's, you know, this small. And uh, so I didn't get it. And uh, anyway, they don't carry it in Walmart, I can tell you that. So you do have to get it online, or maybe you have a store close to you that does carry it. So I'm going to clean the hair all out of this. But there's what it looks like. And here's the biggest thing for me, that first of all, it works. And you see how flat it goes down? Not all of them go down flat like that. And uh, the ones I was seeing in the stores did not did not have the handle that went all the way down. So see, you can actually do under a couch 
and under chairs. See how flat it goes? And so what what is that? Maybe maybe two inches from the floor. It, it just works fantastic, y'all. And I know y'all have trusted me on other things. And trust me on this, because I wouldn't take anything for this. I really wouldn't. It has saved me untold times of pulling out the vacuum cleaner. And not that the vacuum cleaner is that heavy. You just got to plug it in. Then you got to, um, you know, go from room to room. And maybe the cord isn't long enough to go to the third room. So then you got to unplug it and plug it back in and that kind of thing. And I'm not saying this takes the place of a vacuum, but it sure works great, y'all. Well, you look at the rug. I guarantee you, if I vacuumed in here now, I wouldn't get, I'd probably get some sand up, but that'd be about it. All right, y'all. <laughs> and that's my take on this. I know, first of all, I had to look and look and look to find one that had seven brushes on it. And the one in the middle, again, is like the old brushes you used to use to wash baby bottles. Y'all probably, some of you ladies know that know what I'm talking about. It's real easy, but it, it it's there's so many bristles on it, it really super works. So, all right, y'all, we will see y'all next time, and it's good to be back. Bye for now.